Welcome back. This is the website for the Office of Regulatory Services, which is the regulatory authority that governs agency practice in the ACT. You'll be able to see to access it. It's www.ors.act.gov.au. The Office of Regulatory Services is the governing body to which we apply to become a licensed agent or registered salesperson. They also oversee all industry practice in the ACT and they are the ones that administer the laws to ensure that agents and salespeople and property managers operate according to the law. It's, this is a great resource if you click on industry and come down to real estate industry you will see that it covers a whole series of issues in real estate practice in the ACT. Let's click on salespeople. Here you can see that they cover what is a salesperson and particular licenses, but also the qualifications that are required to be a registered age, uh, salesperson in the ACT. It refers to the unit that we're currently doing at the moment, which is 4080A, work in the real estate industry. Over here on the right hand side is a great set of resources at your disposal. Here we have the Agents Practice Manual, which is a great text to um, give you lots of guidance on working in real estate in the ACT, and also some guidance material on issues of disclosure, which of course we referred to previously in the Agents Act. Up here you will see that there's also a public register for salespeople, telling, you, telling the public who is registered, also forms and fees that are available, any applicable legislation. We might just click on that and see that there's a range of pieces of legislation that you need to be aware of in order to operate in the ACT industry. And an important one which is continual professional development. Now continual professional development is required by law and once you have been registered or licensed in the ACT, on an annual basis you are required to undergo specific training. This will actually outline what that training is. You're required to achieve 12 points in a, in a, in a 12 month period and keep a log of that. Those 12 points must be derived from at least two of these categories of which number three is mandatory which requires you to do a unit of competency which attracts eight points. You are then required to keep records of all the training that you have done um, which can be audited at the Commissioner for Fair Trading's discretion. So as you can see it's a great little um, website to give you lots of information on agency practice in the ACT.